Hey, Jeff. <laughs> hey, Eric. Can you tell us, uh, you know, what music you're about to play? Yes, I can. Um, I'm going to play two pieces that are extremely close to my heart. Um, I'm going to play the third movement, the last movement of the great C major fantasy of Schumann. So I had the great privilege um, when I was 14 years old to be given a scholarship to study with a very great Polish emigre pianist in Los Angeles named Jacob Gimple, who studied with the great Edvard Steuermann, and he was actually a composition student of Alban Berg in Vienna. And he and his brother, Bronislaw Gimple, who was one of the great violinists of his time, became concertmaster of the LA Phil. The two brothers uh, left Poland in the early 1930s, and Gimple came to Los Angeles, where he became one of the top pianists for the studios, and he actually appears in the film Gaslight. Um, he was the pianist who played for some of the great Warner Brothers cartoons. Um, he taught me this piece, the Schumann Fantasy, and he told me that during the war, when he had lost touch with all of his relatives, um, they all were left behind in Poland, that the last movement of the Schumann Fantasy was the piece he played as a prayer that he would see his family again. It was sort of his prayer for them. And at the end of the war, he and his brother discovered that every single member of their family, every sibling, parents, cousins, uncles, and aunts had been murdered by the Nazis. And they were the only two left in the world of their family. And I tell this story often when I play this piece because one of the things that I learned from him was the, the power of making music as an ethical act. And that for him, the piece that had been a prayer for his family during the war years became a memorial and a statement of hmm. rem remembrance in for the rest of his life. And I also come from, from a family of Holocaust victims and survivors. And, um, and at this moment in history, when we're looking at such massive and intense suffering, it's a different kind of suffering, of course, but, but the power of this piece, this piece in particular, to serve as a kind of a prayer um, remains undiminished for me. And it, it is for me probably in the entire solo piano repertoire, the, maybe the, the piece that means the most to me. It's great, it's great. Yeah, so um, yeah, tell us about the other piece that you're gonna play. Well, the other piece, um, it doesn't really exist. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's an improvisation. It, it takes generally the same shape every time I do it, but it's always different in many ways. And, and it's an improvisation on America the, Be the Beautiful. And the first time that I ever did this um, was the very first concert that I played after 9-11, which was in, in Austin, Texas. I played a concert with the Austin Symphony and I played a Beethoven piano concerto. And I sat down and played this for an encore just spontaneously. And I've been doing it ever since. And what's amazing is that it's audiences are invariably affected by it, as am I. It's always very moving to me when I play it. It is like the Schumann fantasy. It is it is a prayer. It is also um, a statement of of grief and rage, and um, and I hope also hope. This melody um, and the words to this this song um, to me represent everything good and beautiful and hopeful about about our country, and. And this improvisation I do is also, I think it speaks for itself in terms of how it reacts to everything we're experiencing right now. I'll just maybe leave it at that. Well, thank you. And sure. I'm really looking forward to hearing all this great music. Thanks for inviting me.